In this video, we will discuss about different types of data used for plotting graphs. If you are looking at this video, it means you are already aware of the importance of the graph. Graphs deliver a lot of information without wasting much of our time. So let's start our video with the fact, with the question that what is data? So we can define data as set of values containing certain information. Basically these values dictates what kind of graph will be plotted, what will be its shape and that shape or that graph will represent the entire information hidden in these values. We can also say that data consists of variables that are needed to make a graph. There are two kinds of variables. One is independent variable and other is dependent variable. Independent variable is the one that does not depend upon any other value present in the data or the set of values. And dependent variable depends upon the independent variables. Usually independent variable is taken along horizontal axis and dependent variable is taken along vertical axis while plotting the graph. Further data can be divided into two categories or we can say there are two types of data periodic and non-periodic. What is the difference between periodic and non-periodic data? Let's see. So periodic data is the one which has equal difference in consecutive values. For example, we can see here in the table, we have two columns, one is time and other is distance. Time is given in second and distance is given in meter. Here are the values of time and here are the values of distance. If we look at these values carefully, we will see that the each coming value is 4 greater than its previous value. The difference between two consecutive values is 4. For example, difference between 4 and 0 is 4. You can take any other pair of values. Here we can see two values 20 and 24. Again, the difference is 4. If the difference between consecutive value is constant, then this data will be considered as periodic data. Again, we can see here in the column of distance, we have difference of 6 between consecutive values. So we can say that the distance, the values of distance of the data given in the distance column is also periodic. It is not necessary that the data present in both columns should be periodic. It is entirely possible that data in time is periodic, but the data in distance is non-periodic. So it is not a necessary thing that the data or values in both columns will be periodic or non-periodic simultaneously. We can see another example that will depict the example of non-periodic data. Here again I have two columns, one is time, the other is distance. In the time column we have values for time, in the distance column we have values for the distance. Here the difference between in the time column, difference between two consecutive value is 4. So it means the data given in this column, column of time is periodic. Have a look at this column of distance. Initially when we start, we see the difference between consecutive values is 6. Difference between 0 and 6 is equal to 6. Difference between 6 and 12 is equal to 6. But as we move further, we say, we see the difference between consecutive value has been changed. It's not 6 anymore. Difference between 15 and 12 is 3. Again, 
we move further and we see the difference between 20 and 15 is 5. So it means difference of two consecutive value is no more consistent, no more constant. This type of data in which difference between two consecutive value does not remain constant is known as non-periodic data. As I said earlier, it is not a condition that the data in both columns will be periodic or non-periodic simultaneously. We have seen this example where data given in the time column is periodic, but the data given in values given in distance columns are non-periodic. The graph, the shape of graph for the periodic data and non-periodic data is different and we can tell if the graph made is from periodic or non-periodic data just by having a look at the shape of graph. As I mentioned earlier that graphs deliver a lot of information without wasting much of time. This is an example of one such an information. Just have a look at the graph and you can tell our data is periodic or our data is non-periodic. Have a look at these graphs. You can see two different graphs on your screen. The graph under periodic data is a straight line. So most of the time, always, in fact always, the graph drawn from periodic data will be a straight line. Its slope may change, but it will be a straight line. Now have a look at this. Initially, this line moves like a straight line. It means during this region, the difference between value was a constant. Then it deviates from its path and makes some random shape. And then it gets upward and then at the final point. So as this graph is not a straight line graph, we can say just by having a look at it that this graph is made from non-periodic data. I hope now it will be clear from these examples what are the differences between periodic and non-periodic data and you can also get a feeling, get a conclusion from having a look at the graphs and tell if our data is periodic or non-periodic. If graph is straight line, it means our data is periodic. If graph is not straight line, it means our data is non-periodic. So after learning what is data, what are its type, how can we classify, how can we tell if it is a periodic and non-periodic data, our next step of course will be plotting a graph, making a graph. I have made another video, very good video in fact, starting from zero, from very basic, explaining all steps, how to make scale, how to choose axis, how to point data points, how to mark data points, how to draw a curve. Everything has been explained in this video and I have given its link in description. You can visit this video, you can see this video from the description and it's a very good video. It, even a school going student from the sixth grade or seventh grade may have a look at this video and he will learn all steps involved in the plotting in plotting graphs. It is highly recommended to watch video whose link is given in the description. Also, you may also mention your problems or suggestions in our comments section. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned for more videos related to graph. Thank you very much.